my camera. I'm so sorry it's been so long. I can really lost track of time. With Christmas, New Year, I know it's been like a month. It's most of those. Um, but I've just, I don't know what's happened. Anyway, um, I thought I should do a new video. So I was thinking, what could I do? And I came up with this idea. It's not really a good idea, but it's okay, I guess, for a, like, arts and crafts thing. So, as you see, my phone's actually charging. I'm going to plug that. There we go. So, Frank, I'm going to need a piece of paper. Um, uh, scissors. Find the things and I'll tell you. Okay. I now think I know what we need. Pencil, ruler, scissors, rubber, and colouring pens or pencils, any colouring source. Unless you want to leave it blank. It's up to you. I'll show you the sketch in a sec. Okay, so I don't have like the best angle, but it's gonna have to do. Let's move it a bit. Pull it there. And cowboy boo. Anyway. I'm not sure if you've noticed, you probably haven't, but I've got a new desk. Crazy. Oh my goodness, sorry. Cat issues. Okay, I'm gonna need this paper. It doesn't have to be whole, as you can see. I have a chunk out of mine. So, my design is going to be a goal, and there's gonna be a boy in the goal, and the ball is gonna be sliding across with a piece of paper behind it. So, say there was a hole, the slit here, the ball will be on top. I'd be moving it from behind and be like, from behind and go into the goal. There's no way I can really change the boy's face or anything like that. I can always make him dive for it. Kind of difficult, but I can try that. And then, well, that's it. I'm gonna need a sketch, which I'm not very good at. And then I'm gonna have to color, which I'm also not very good at. How am I gonna draw a goal? It's gonna be like lopsided. Oh, I need a ruler. You might want a ruler. I feel like I'm going to go wrong, so I've got rubber. It's kind of big. Let's change that. That's not better. Little monkey dude. Okay. Just got to that up before the cat play with it. Actually, she's probably trying to play with it. Here you go. It's okay, they're busy with an old shoelace. Alright. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Maybe we should focus on a flippy first. So, I'm going to use this bag with a round end. You can use anything with a round end like that. Um, if you want it to be small, you could use the end of a pencil, but it's kind of hexagonal. Um, other things you could use, other things you could use. Well, some pens, like Sharpies, they have a round end. I think. Or most of them. They do. Yeah, they do. Um... There's other things you can use, honestly. Glue, like I'm using. If you want, you can use a compass. It's kind of precise, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just using this for now. Do you want to draw a circle? I did not on my head. I did not put on my hair. I did this morning. So you get yourself a circle. I'm sure you can see that. Circle. And you can see that. And then, be careful with scissors. Make sure if you're young, parents um, should be your wife helping you. I do have small scissors, but they don't cut paper very well. So, I'm giving them furniture. And then you just want to cut around the circle. Uh, it doesn't really matter if the line shows or not. If it does, you can always pick up the side. If it doesn't, then you can pick which side you want to use. Make it as round as you can. Now, I'm doing a football scene, like I said, so that's why I'm doing this up. I don't have to do a football scene. If you're not doing a football scene, then maybe don't do a circle, but unless there's something circular in yours. It's not perfect to get, like, bumpy around the edges, but, oops, I dropped it. But nothing's perfect. Not even us. Okay, and then... To one side. Okay, and you want to well, do a design on it, obviously. Oh, oh I forgot. 
I don't have many rulers. Some of them stretch out. Some of them are only 15 centimeters. But they smell good. And they bend. This one doesn't bend, but it does that. And there are stencils, which I think is very cool. So, you want to um, just make an area that you're going to draw in. Because obviously you're not going to need the whole sheet of paper. Especially not me, because I've cut stuff out of it already. So I'm going to need to make an area that I'm going to draw in. So I've got a bit of glue on there. Maybe not there. I don't want it too big either. So, I go for about... Judging by the size of the football. About... Hard to tell, um, say 20 centimeters, and then down that's 11 and a half. I didn't really measure the down, but like that. So you've got yourself a reasonable, I'm sure you can see the pencil lines, but reasonable shape there. And then get your foot. Oh, where did it go? There I go, it again. It's there, never mind. Get that, make sure it's outside your area of drawing room. And if you're doing what I'm doing, draw. One sec. Um, hexagonal patterns. Okay, I've drawn my rough sketch. I know it's a little messy in the middle. But then you're gonna need a black pen. If you want Sharpie, just make sure it does not go through the paper onto your desk or whatever you're doing done. Oh, the phone shut up, so annoying. Um, so then I'm just gonna fill that out with black Sharpie. And that'll be done in a minute. I hope that was smooth. It probably wasn't, but I tried my best. Anyway, that it kind of went wonky in the middle, but you know, the intel lots of purple, right? I mean, I didn't do the back, but it kind of went through. The intel through. So it does. No, it's fine. So it's kind of purple on both sides. That side is the better side in, term, in terms of the color showing through. Kind of looks more realistic now. Oh well, and then you're gonna have to make a slit. So I don't know where the volume's gonna come from. Is there another person that's going to be kicking it or what? I don't know. I think I'm just going to make it into the goal. So I'm going to need a rough sketch of the goal and a person. I hate drawing bottom of things. Let's see if I can do it. And ages later, that took like 20 minutes. I watched a YouTube video. Well, first I tried a sketch one here. And then, watched, and then I watched a YouTube video. But it was on that side. So I just had to do it that side. And I kind of did a Sharpie line there by mistake. And it's not perfect, but I tried, and that's all that matters, right? Okay, now we need to draw the person, which I'm also really bad at, so I'm going to Google cartoon people to draw. So, um, I'm just going to use this piece of paper here, because it's not that damaged. It's got a few pencil lines, but I reckon I can work with it, because I'm not drawing him right on here, because I want to move him. So, um, let's start with a sketch. There it is. I followed a YouTube video, but I changed the head to make it a little boy, and I know that hand's kind of funny on that one. I get the drawing hands, but ignore that, and the shorts are a bit big, but ignore that. Gracie, what are you doing? She likes to come visit me when I'm doing my art. And Molly. Don't know where she is right now, though. Good girl. Now we need to colour them in. Um, uh... So, yeah. All coloured in. And Molly Kins is here. Hi, Molly Kins. Hi, Molly. Good girl, baby. Okay. Um, now the tricky part. I need to cut him out. There's the goal, by the way. I've shown you that already. Um, I know the football's kind of big. It's like four times the size of his head. And compared to the goal, it's giant. I might have to redo that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Football head. Anyway. Just stand on that, that's kind of cool. I need to cut him out, so we need to do that. I'll see you in a second. Okay, cut him out. I know there's white bits around him because I didn't want to go too close in case I hurt him. So, well, I'm not going to hurt him, but he's like so much bigger than the goal. Oh well, so I'm going to have him on a rotating thing so I can make him go like stop the ball going in obviously he's not going to stop it from going in it's going to go in now i'm just going to do like a blue background and all that but i don't think it can be bothered so he's going to go like that i think i'm going to put it on his foot on his feet rather maybe on that foot not both of them how am i supposed to do that i don't know i'll figure it out in a minute oh, and then 
that slides across into the goal. I think I'm going to make a smaller football. Am I? We'll see. Do another football. I'm not sure if it's too small now, but yeah, it's about the size of his head. That's good. I didn't draw around anything. I just drew a football. Circle over. Oh, now it's harder to do, to use, but it'll be better, I feel like. Okay, now I need to find a way for it to move. I think it's going to start over here. It's going to move into the back of the goal. So I'm going to have to make it slip down here. So I think I'm going to use scissors or a really sharp pencil. I'm, like, I'm not going to use anything like a knife because that would be dangerous. And I'm not ready for that. <laughs> Definitely not. So... Um, I guess I'm just gonna like trace where I want the ball to be going and then make a slip there. See you in a sec. So I made a rough sketch line. So I want the ball to start around like this area. So that ball's gonna start on that um, dot. And that ball's gonna come around along this line and stop here. Or should it come down? It's gonna come down to the end just to make it more convincing. So start point, end point. Now I need to cut that without ruining everything. <laughs> Wish me luck. Like 10 minutes later, I made this line across here. I'm not sure if you can see, but it is actually a slit. It's not a big slit, it's just a tiny one. It took a long time and it was very hard. I had to get thinner scissors, so I didn't actually use those. I just used to get thinner scissors, scissors and cut through because that would have made too big of a hole. Anyway, um, now I need to rub out the pencil lines. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. See you in a sec. Go. Pencil line is gone. You can just see this line, obviously, where the edge is showing through. Stop fighting. Oh, don't be worried about Gracie's patch there. It's because um, the vet had to do that to her, too, since she's a girl to stop her having babies. That's all. She's completely fine. Isn't she, Mulligans? We're, we're trying to discourage the fighting. But I always keep an eye on them, or well, someone does when they're fighting, to make sure they don't hurt each other. It's just play fighting, really. They're both fine. They really are. Okay. Um, now that I've done that, I need to get the ball. Make sure I know where the starting point is. And then I'm going to need some way of moving it. So I think... Um, let me flip this over. This is the difficult part. If I get the back of the football, I can... Like, a few weeks ago, I had these strips, and no, I did not make this red thing on my wrist. No, I didn't. That was from trampoline park place. Anyway, I had these strips. So let me just tuck my red thing in. I should get rid of it now. I have these strips, and if I cut one of them to make it smaller, it might work. I'm just going to cut that. There you go. Wasn't that smooth? So I've got these two bits here now. I cut that thin bit off because oh, here it is. I'm going to attach it to the end. Now I can slide it in and out, but I've got to be careful I don't put it on the wrong side. I'll show you what I mean. So this is the difficult part. Well, it's not as difficult as some of the different parts, but I've got to make sure my goalie is safe. Um, since the football is so small, it's actually harder. So I need to get this. It doesn't matter how long it is, just about how long it is. This is five and a half centimetres, just like five centimetres doesn't even have to be that. Fold over that bit just a little bit. Like that. Make a fold. Get your glue. Not a hot glue gun, there's no point heating it up just for this little step. No point. And then find your fold that you made. And glue the folded over bit. Only that little fold though, only that end bit. And then stick it on the back of your football easy as that it's not really um next after you've done that you can like lift it up and you should have that football on a stick then get this slit poke that through and hopefully your football should be wide enough to not actually go through and then just twist it round hopefully the slit doesn't show through too much the football and you can hopefully slide it Into the back of the net. 
like that. And then you can just take it out. I know this fits very visible, but there's nothing really you can do about that. You're just gonna have to deal with it. And then you can just grab the football, take it out. As long as you keep that safe. I'd like you like keep these safe somewhere. I don't know where, but you can keep it safe somewhere. That you're not gonna lose it. And now for the goalie. He, I feel like, is going to be more difficult than the football. So, if we have him on our page, you can't see, but he's on the page. We want, be able, we want to be able to turn him like that, so that he turns. That's going to kind of make him more flat than he is, because he's quite bendy, as you can see on the side. We just need to flatten him out. Do not use an iron or anything stupid like that. There's no point. Probably not even safe. Let's try to flatten him. There's no way I can flatten him doing this, but I just got my scissors. That's not gonna work. I need to find something heavy. One sec. Golden and bananas. Flattening him. Okay, let's just, actually, instead of doing that, that's silly, because I'll just put him halfway in the book. Remember where he is. Go on. I think you can, can you see where he is? No, that's my bookmark. Yeah, you can see where he is. I bet my corner's gonna. Oh no, no, no. It's okay, it's okay. But my not fall out. <sighs> um, I'll just squidge him in there for a bit. I'm going to put him over there. On my other half of the desk. Deal with him in a minute. Now I need to find out how I'm supposed to move him. I could do the same as the football. I could have a hole. And I could make him move from behind. Does that work? Hopefully, if I put him behind like this. Sorry, deep in thought then. Seeing if that would work. Hopefully it will, but I don't want to make a hole in the paper in case it doesn't work. So, I know people use like split pins and stuff. I don't have any of those. Paper clips are not going to work. So let's just use a piece of paper again, but it's not going to work very well. Um, like I said, I have paper clips. I don't think that's going to do very well. Um, let me check what I have. There's nothing I have that'll work. Unless, unless, unless. That's not gonna work. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Um, <sighs> can I use a piece of paper? Do I have to make a move? It'd be pretty cool. Got it. We're not gonna move him from the outside like we do with the football. We're just gonna have to move him from on top, I think. But hopefully that'll work. So um, let's see if he's flattened yet. It hasn't been very long. It's been like two minutes. But that's the bookmark area. Let's find him. Let's find him, guys. My goodness. There he is. He fell out. I opened the book. He's flatter than he was before. I don't think that worked very well. Let's put him at the back this time. It's gloves that are quite. I don't mark him when I fell out again. Be really careful of that. Just, I'm just gonna hold him down for a minute. I need to squeeze it tight. Yep, yeah. so whilst I'm doing this, I can be thinking. So I'm just gonna do the same thing I did for the other guy, but for that football, but slightly different. Oh, his hands sticking out of the bottom now. I'm not sure if you can see. Probably can't. Because his very little hands sticking out. Poor dude. He was a name. Josh. Joshua. Fred. I'm not good at names. I'm not the kind of person that could help you with names. He's more flat than he was before. Like flat Stanley. Stanley. Look at his name. Stanley. 
cat family. Okay, I feel like he's a Fred though. Fred, Stanley, George, not George, he's not George. He's a, I feel like he's a Joshua, but then again, a Jake. He's a Jake, he's a definite Jake, he's a Jake. Okay, he's Jake, and don't blame me for using a J name. What's wrong with J names anyway? I don't know, anyway, he's a Jake. I'm never good at drawing legs, but look at his leg. I mean, I don't love it, but that's the first leg that I've drawn that's actually quite good. Must admit. Okay, I'm getting off topic here. He's so much bigger than the goal. It's really irritating. Doesn't matter. Am I going to make it through his foot? I should have thought about this a lot. One sec. Grabbing my stash of paper clips. Is it back for two? It might be. Grabbing one. Doesn't matter what colour. Just grabbing any. I see that, no, there's hardly any white ones. There are loads of yellow ones, I'll grab a yellow one. Just because I might have to break it slightly. I'm just going to get it, and you know how those are little bits. I'm going to unravel it. Just that much. And then I'm going to poke it through one of his feet. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I'm going to anyway. Trying not to poke myself in the process. Done it. He is poked through, he's been impaled in his foot. Poor dude, didn't live very long, did he? About 10 minutes. That's quite a long life, you know, for a piece of paper. No offense, dude, you have a piece of paper. Okay, I know I'm talking to nothing right now. So I want him to be about there on the page. Is that good? So he reaches across the whole goal. That's good, so about. Little hole, I mean, a little dot. I want the hole to be stabbing it. Perfect, it went through. That's where he'll go. Put that through that and then through his foot. Don't come at me for this. You can't feel anything. His face, though, is like, oh. Poor guy. Oh well. That's good. Now, hopefully, I can twist him. I can, but first, I'm gonna have to create a way for the paper clip to stay down. Put it right. Don't do that. Fold the paper clip. Please, before, after, after I poked him. Fold the paper clip. This isn't really working. This has to work. That kind of works. Look, now he moves. And I can move him from behind. No, I can't. You have to move him from on top. Oh, I know the slit's so annoying. Why did I create such a big slit? Why does he fall like that? It's kind of creepy. He's not meant to do that. He's meant to like... Anyway, he can just about save the goal. Now I need to fold the back over. Um, I don't think I can do that. How do I cut paper clips? I can't. You can't cut a paper clip, so I can... Be kind of stupid. If we could. Kind of cool, but stupid. Don't cut paper clips. I'm gonna cut the paper clip. I probably won't be able to. It's like metal. No, it's not metal. It's something that's probably not cuttable. Apparently, it's cuttable. I'll just cut a paper clip. It's a bit sharp. It's a mini baby clip. That's. Mini paper clip compared to the original. It's like that inside bit. That's cute. I'll just pop it back in the box for now. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. I hadn't really thought this guy through. So then he just fell off my desk. Not this part, it has to be other part. Hello? It's okay, nothing happened. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to. It doesn't really work. I know what I can do. I can sellotape it. That is a genius idea. Why didn't I think of that before? I'm crazy. This one. Putting the paper clip box back. Great. Tick them. Everyone. Sellotape. Let's find the end. This is becoming a very long video. 
only this section is 11 minutes 25 seconds from now. Kind of crazy. It's probably going to be like a 30 minute video. It's not meant to be like that. I don't read that much. I hate it when people do that. They only have so much um, cell tape and then don't even use half of it. Like I did just then. And they do the same with blue roll. That really bugs me. They unroll all the blue roll and then only use like a tiny bit of it. Does not bug anyone else? Do they do that in your family? Or do people just do that? Whether they're in your family or not? It's even worse when they're in your family though. Do you know it's worse when they're not in your family? Because they're in your family, you can kind of just be straight up with them like, Hi, why do you cut? Why do you have that much? Why do you unravel that much? Oh, you don't need that much. Please, can you not do that next time? But it's like someone, especially if you don't know them, so you don't know who did it, you can't go up to them and be like, oh, please don't do that, because you don't know who they are. And also, that'd be kind of awkward if you don't know who they are. Like, they're a stranger to you, but you see them. Like, a little while later, and you're like, oh, well, ah, you and the Lua are, hmm, don't do that. To the blue roll. Mm. You're kind of awkward. Anyway, I sort of take the back so that paper clip stays still and the front. So now he it doesn't it doesn't stop him from moving. Does it stop him from moving? It does. No, it doesn't. It just about doesn't. I should have put that through, shouldn't I? He only moves for a certain amount now. It still works. I'll show you. You just gotta move him with your hand. I know it's kind of complicated on how I did this. You might have better ways if you have split pins or whatever. But I don't, so I had to make it up. <sighs> Should I do a background from all that? I could, but I'm just too lazy. Should I grass at least? Grass. I'm not good at grass though. I'll add grass. Lighting. Can I add dark green as well? I might in some places. Actually, I'm not sure if that green is the right colour green. It just goes bored, so I made like this key, colour key, I call it. Colour key. Ignore that, those are my pets. Colour key. So, my pens on the bottom, they have numbers. That one's 128, 128. So, if I want to know what colour that is, then I look on here, look for 128, it's green, so it's in the green section. And that's its colour. Um, 226, so that's good. 27 and 226. You can also use it for finding the right colour. 27 and 226. 27 and 226. I can always re-look at it if I forget which colour I need. Is that the right colour? That's 29. Only 27 and 226. Hi, Mummy! my cat. Uh, let me find that. 27 and 226. There is a number on there. 27, 226. 226. In the house. 27. Also in the house. That's good. 27 and 226. I think that's right. No, that's it. They're both upside down. That's better. Okay, I'm just going to put it to the side for now. Move my colour key. Sorry, Frank. Just give her a stroke. Stop bobbling. I don't really know how to draw grass. I hate drawing grass. I'm just going to do light green and then add some touch of dark green along the way. Like I said, I hate drawing grass, so don't judge me by my grass. Hi, Molly. Don't knock that off, please. I call her Mollykins. I don't know why. I just like to. Gotta put a pen on my new desk. Oopsies. It's not my fault. Kind of is. Kind of not. It's Molly's fault. Just kidding. It, it's not. I don't blame anything on my cats except farts. I hardly, like ever, because they hardly ever fart and I hardly ever fart. So I can't really blame them. Because my parents don't believe me because they know that my cats don't really fart. Gracie does. Every time you pick her up, oh, that's a big, big gas. We're not picking her up at the moment though because of her 
um, approach anything. Like I said, I have no idea how to draw grass, so I'm kind of just making this up as I go along, actually. There we go. So I'm going to add a little black bit in the grass. I'm not sure if I can do that or not. I'm not adding little black bits in the grass. I did it in pencil, so I can have it out. I need to remember where they go. It doesn't really matter because I run on with gaps and it doesn't matter where they go. I have my main rainbow colours along the top. Not sure I can see because they're light. I have my main, main rainbow colours along the top. So, just come. So I'll take away and I think that's it. I need the ball. I'm not doing this guy. Where's the ball? Here, it's here, it's here. It's here. Don't freak out too much, Megan. It's here. I could play this all day. Goes into the goal. Mm, tries to save it. Goes behind him for some odd reason. And smack bang into the goal. And it travels behind the goal. For some reason. Don't know why it does that. Task. Okay, that's good. I think that's it. You can always add other stuff, like if you want the sky, the sun, maybe someone kicking the ball, because it doesn't really, it just moves. But that is completely up to you, and I'm not doing any of those complex things right now because I do not here for about an hour doing this. I do not think it would take that long. I think it would be like a five minute thing. Apparently not. What am I meant to do that? Don't want it. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't keep it. I keep it. This smells as well. If you're wondering. It smells so good. So wiggly. Like, wiggly. It moves. Okay. Obviously it moved. Like, most things move. I don't think I need that anymore. Or that. Getting rid of scrap paper. Oh! And cut out your scene. Remember earlier we made a rectangular the box what was it 20 by 11.5 i think it was and then you just go ahead oh by the way the youtube videos i watch they are obviously on youtube um to find the goalie one just search how to draw a cartoon goalie it will look pretty similar to that and for the goal search how to draw a cartoon goal for football slash soccer, whatever um, country you live in. If you live in the United States of America or England or other places. Depends what you call it. Just putting stuff in the bin and voila. I'm going to do a stop motion with that. That'll be really cool. I'm going to show you the stop motion now. Okay, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and... As always, have an amazing day. Bye.